Okay, so a couple things to consider while um, making this fixture plate for these laser cut um, parts. Uh, first thing is is uh, laser cut tolerances. When I have uh, when I have these cut by the laser cutter, they usually indicate a tolerance of plus or minus fifteen thousandths of an inch. Uh, from my experience, they're usually a lot better than that. Uh, I measured a couple of these. I think they were like uh, two or three thousandths under. So what I decided to do is I'm going to make the pockets uh, two thousandths of an inch oversized uh, to give a little leeway. The geometry on this isn't really all that critical, the tolerances and all, uh, since it's just an electrical cover. So, so that's one thing to consider. The other one was, what do they call it, dross. On these thicker covers I usually have uh, an edge there from the laser. On the thinner ones uh, there's hardly a, an edge there. Um, originally I thought I would just mount this on this side and I would just mill off this side when I'm doing the step. But the problem is if I do that and I flip it over then it's not going to fit in the pocket on the other side. So as far as, I, unless I can figure out something else, uh, I'm going to actually have to take this off on the belt sander. Which is simple enough, it just, I try to avoid some of that manual stuff because it can be kind of hard on the, the neck and stuff when you spend a lot of time on the grinder. Um, anyway, so, so order of uh, sequence of operation on this, basically tool operation wise, I think I'm going to use a quarter inch rougher to rough out the step on these two and then I'm going to change to a regular quarter inch end mill to clean that up and then go on to the other side over here use that same quarter inch uh, do the counter bores and then switch to a chamfer mill uh, chamfer here and then chamfer these edges um, the lower edges down here where the where a step is cut um, it's gonna be a little more difficult to do that on the mill so I'm probably just going to clean that up on the grinder uh, or maybe I'll yeah yeah I'll probably do that on the I'm just going to uh, chamfer the upper edge so all right well I'm gonna load the code up and get ready to start machining this okay so I'm gonna do the bulk of the Removal for the pockets with the uh, 3 8 Taz aluminum shredder. Then I'm going to come back and clean the pocket out. That's with the pocket. Then I'm going to pocket out um, the rest of it. I'm going to leave like five thousandths of an inch on the floor and on the walls. Uh, then I'm going to clean up that five thousandths on the floor and the walls um, with the regular 3 8 end mill. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take out the extra two thousandths on the walls on a separate uh, pass after that.
Okay, well that worked out pretty good. The code uh, ran great. It's pretty smooth. It took a lot longer to actually do the, the finish because I was running a lot s slower, of course, on the finish pass. But, uh, all right, well, let's see if these things uh, fit here. Fits good. Very good. Cool. A hair play, kind of figured I'd have a hair play, but like I said, it's not super critical um, because it's just a cover. The tolerances aren't all that great, but uh, yeah, worked out perfect. All right, now all I need to do is uh, run the next code. Uh, I had to run that on a separate file uh, because I have to switch to uh, low gear for the tapping. So let me, I don't have a thread mill, so I'm using the tension compression tapping head. So let me get set up to do that. So I haven't really mastered the whole deep drilling and aluminum thing with the smaller drill bits. Um, I'm using the same code that I used on the universal drilling plate. A lot of them came out fine. Most of them came out fine, but there's a couple of them where the, the drill bit uh, was binding. So we'll see how well this goes here. You can hear it started to bind a little bit on that one. I think that's a little deeper because, um, you know, these are recessed down, so. All right, now I'm going to use the countersink. I'm not sure if I have the, the height set on this properly, so we'll see. Okay, well I'm only going down a, a half inch on the uh, on the tap. And if it's not deep enough, I'll probably just use a hand tap to go the rest of the way. Okay, well not bad if I do say so myself. Put these in here again. Holes line up perfectly there. I was thinking about going 5 sixteenths, but I was afraid, you know, if there's a slight misalignment, I wouldn't be able to get the screw in at all. So I just went with quarter inch. Hopefully that'll be good enough. So, here it is. All right, well, I guess all that's left to do is um, make this bracket. Um, I don't think I'm going to draw it up in CAD. It's kind of a simple tool so I think I'm just gonna do like uh, manual machining on the CNC mill yeah I've decided to tap these a little deeper just to make sure I get as much engagement with the screw to hold it down as best as possible so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that make it a little deeper Okay, here it is all set up to run. 
Uh, actually, the brackets that we make uh, actually worked out on this side. I'm just going to use this for now until I think of a better way to do it. But if it works out, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Um, I usually have pressure plates uh, for this side, uh, but I need to make this smaller. So for now, I'm just going to be using some uh, some big washers here. Um, I actually have two um, two code files. One file is just for this side uh, to initiate. Um, then I have another file I'm going to load. I'm going to take these back out uh, because they have to be machined on the bottom side first. Um, but I just thought I'd show you how it sets up here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and run the main file. I've uh, the ones I just did. I flipped those over over to here and added two new ones here. Alright, there we go. Two finished products off the mill. Got it reset back up for the next run. Uh, all I basically have to do is, um, as far as grinding that one edge off, the uh, the laser dross, uh, I needed to finish that edge anyway. So, um, trying to finish these edges on the mill isn't going to be quite worth it, I don't think, with the setup and everything. Um, so I, all I have to do is... Um, Run this over the uh, the belt sander right here um, to finish that edge off, 
maybe do a die grinder a little bit to deburr this and uh, this edge is actually pretty pretty good here so alright All right, well that's it for this video if you liked it uh, I'd appreciate the thumbs up if you have any comments or suggestions feel free to leave them below if you'd like to subscribe there should be a button right here and some other video links down below if you'd like to watch some more of my videos alright thanks